call this fifth grade class. And we go to North Park Elementary School in Chicago, Illinois. And this is our Word Winder video. Word Winder can be played in so many different ways. Today we're going to demonstrate sidewinds. Now we're going to set up the boards four by four. There are so many different combinations. No two games will ever play alike. During my turn, I found the word boil. B O I L. Oh, wait! I can do boiler because it's longer and can get me to that side of the board quicker. B O I L E R. Boiler. In Wordwinder, you can play a word anywhere at any time, and it does not have to connect to your team's line. For example, I found eating. E A T I N G. Eating. I found the word rented. It helps because it goes side to side and up and down. R E N T E. One of the great things about Wordwinder is the blocking. I'm going to block yellow from reaching this side of the board by doing hoping. H O P I M T. Hoping. On my turn, I'm going to play the word Rome. R O A M. I played Rome because it connects eating and easy, so I have a better chance of getting from one side to the board to another. I'm going to do testing. T E S T I N G. This is really good because it puts our team in the lead because we only have one letter here and two letters over there. The yellow team is very close to winning. We need to work together and block them. Yep. I'm going to do gaps. G A P S. Gaps. And I'll do I'll do den. D E N. Yellow has a surprise now when we're going to go side to side instead with the word C clipping. C L I P P I N G. Y Yellow was about to win, so I think we need to team up again. Mm -hmm. So I could do cut okay. and C U T. And I could do the word lead. L I D. D. I found the word true, and it connects for 
yellow. It connects from this side all through the, there to this side. So, yellow wins. And here's another rule. I can reuse a letter. For example, this is our P. We can use it to spell pop. P-O-P.